Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. In today's session, I shall be explaining you about the uh, link layer addressing schemes. There are two link layer addressing schemes available in IPv6. And IPv4, normally what was happening is, there is no specific relation between the host ID and the uh, MAC address, that is which is 48-bit MAC address. Host ID is 32 bits in IPv4. In IPv6, the host ID or the what you call actually with the name as interface identifier, interface identifier is 64 bit. And what about the physical address? Physical address, you should know that there are two different types of physical addresses. One is the 64 bit EUI and another is the 48 bit Ethernet MAC address. Now, how to relate the interface, okay, interface identifier with this physical addresses. So, to make it more simpler, we can say that you can arrive at the interface interface identifier itself with what by using the physical address that is given in the question now there are two types of uh, addresses available eui and 48 bit ethernet mac for the first one eui you have to follow a different procedure to arrive at the interface id interface identifier or you can call it as the host id in simpler words and uh, the other one is the other addressing scheme is the 48 bit ethernet mac address and for that the procedure is slightly different so procedure is very simple very simple steps you can arrive at 64 bit interface identifier so this is what i wanted to explain in today's session let us see what kind of problem will be asked see for this i have just written here the very first uh, type of the physical address is 64 bit EUI. So, a question can be asked for this EUI 64 bit only. Given will be a 64 bit EUI, uh, I, this one address, and from this address, you are going to arrive at the interface identifier. That means in the question, they will ask you what is the interface identifier for the given EUI 64 address. So, and the 64 UI 64 address will be given in this form. Fine. It is always in hexadecimal numbers. Now, the solution for this is for this particular method mapping with a EUI. See, you are going to arrive at what interface identifier and the interface identifier in IPv6 is how much 64 bits. Fine. And here also you have 64 bits, the EUI 64 to so map uh, to actually to arrive at uh, interface identifier 64 to 64 you need to follow only one step here there is the seventh bit of a given ui 64 address is always called as the local or the global bit okay so that bit should be converted from 0 to 1 remember what is the step you have to convert the local bit local to global the which one the seventh bit now seventh bit this is the first step and in the second step you have to write down what the interface identifier so i'll write it neatly here for this okay for this mapping for ui64 first step is the seventh bit is from 0 to 1 okay you have to convert write this 0 to 1 you have to replace 0 with 1 and uh, you have to write finally the interface identifier in colon hexadecimal notation Okay, this of course you have to do because all IPv6 addresses you are going to write it in colon hexadecimal and uh, the last part in the IPv6 is interface identifier. This is what you are going to write now from this EUI 64. Now, seventh bit if you want to uh, uh, like uh, look, uh, identify from this uh, address, this is what F is in hexadecimal. It consists of four bits, one, 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 fine. And this F is what in uh, binary 0, 1, 0, 1. So, what you have done is only you have expanded this, you have reconverted this um, hexadecimal numbers into binary. You do not have to do the remaining hexadecimal numbers because you are interested only in the seventh bit and seventh bit is available here. So, only in the first octet if you try to write it in binary, it is easily, it you can do it easily. So, first 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, this is the seventh bit. This bit should be okay replaced with 1 0 to be replaced with 1 when you try to replace 0 with 1 what will you what will you get 0 1 1 1 isn't it so this number in hexadecimal is this is f and this is 7 finally what you are doing is the same thing you are writing here f 7 but since you have to write it in colon hexadecimal fine and this colon hexadecimal will have what how many 2 2 bytes separated with colon so f 7 a 9 colon 23 EF colon 74 
zero seven one four colon seven a d two. Okay, this is what is your interface identifier. Simple one or two marks question can be asked. Arrive at the interface identifier or what is the interface identifier for a given EUI sixty four address. The second type of question will be once again what is the interface identifier for a given Ethernet MAC address. And the second one is always what Ethernet MAC is forty eight bit. Okay, but when you have to arrive at interface identifier which is of sixty four bits, for that reason, for the second method, for the second method, I shall write it here. What are the different uh, uh, this one uh, steps you need to carry out here in order to arrive at the interface identifier? The first one is the same one. Replace the local bit to global bit. That is local bit is zero, and you have to replace it with one. And which bit? Bit number seven, seventh bit. And in the second step, you have to insert sixteen bits now. Now the reason is, see, look here. This is forty-eight bit, and your interface identifier is of sixty-four bits. So the remaining sixteen bits should get inserted here. At what position? After twenty-four bits of this MAC ID. Okay, twenty-four bits. After twenty-four bits, you are going to insert sixteen bits. But with what value? The value is FFFE. Fine, sixteen bits. That means there are fifteen ones followed by one zero. Those, uh, these, uh, this one you have to insert F F E. Okay. So let us carry out, and finally the third step is to write the interface identifier in colon hexadecimal. Colon hexadecimal. So very simple job. Just look here. Given is this one. You are going to arrive at the interface identifier. Same procedure you do. Okay. One 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 zero one zero one seventh bit is this. If you convert it into one, then your answer will be what one one zero one. One, which is nothing but F seven, fine. And now you have to write it in what colon hexadecimal F seven A nine. And remember, you are going to uh, insert this sixteen bits, which is F F F E. Sixteen bits. If you see, you just look here. This is uh, eight. Okay, eight. Four plus four, eight. Eight sixteen. Sixteen plus eight is twenty four. After twenty four bits of this, you have to uh, insert this F F F E. So I can just write like this: F seven A nine first colon find twenty three because now at this point only I have to insert the sixteen bit. So I can write down F F colon then F E should get okay included in this section F E fourteen colon seven A D two fine. So this is what is the final answer. That means you are going to arrive at the interface identifier. Now it is of sixty-four bits. You can see the previous one is also sixty-four bits interface. Definitely, it has to be sixty-four bits only. So the procedure is simple: two link layer addressing scheme. In the first one, just replace the bit zero to one, okay, and write in colon hexadecimal. In the second method, replace the bit from seventh bit from zero to one and insert what? Insert this sixteen bits. Sixteen bits should have a value of what? How many? All fifteen ones followed by one zero. That is F F F E. At which position? At this particular position. After twenty four bits of this one. This is forty eight bit. No, you just divide into two parts. Twenty four, twenty four. In between that, you have to place this F F E. Then finally, it becomes what the interface area. So this can be just one or two marks question. There is a possibility of the third type of question because all these in these two questions, what is that you are arriving? You are arriving at the interface identifier, sixty-four bit. But suppose if a question is asked you to find out the um, IPv6 address itself. Now IPv6 address is completely consisting of what the one twenty-eight bits. So how to construct that one twenty-eight bits and what values will be given in the question? That one example also I'll just try to uh, show you here. So there can be a third type of question possible, and that question can look like this: An organization is assigned the block. Global routing prefix is given here, which is of 48 bits. What is the IPv6 address of an interface in the third subnet? So you just try to underline the things which you require here. Actually, the addresses or the numbers which you require here in order to construct the 128 bit IPv6 address. So, of an interface in the third subnet, if the IEEE physical address of the computer is okay, this is what is given. Now, from this, very simple. How to proceed? Now, hope you people remember IPv6 address consists of what? Three parts. Fine. Global routing prefix, subnet identifier, and interface. This you should not forget. These three components: interface ID, subnet ID. 
global routing prefix. So this global route, this is totally consisting of 128 bits, fine. And you have global routing prefix for 48, fine. And for subnet, it is 16. Subnet ID, 16 bits are used. And for interface ID, 64 bits are used. This you should remember always, 48 plus 16 plus 64, 128. Now from this question, you are going to arrive at 128 bit IPv6 address. So you require global routing prefix, you require subnet ID value, you require interface ID, isn't it? Three components are required. Whether three components are given in the question? Yes, given. Global routing prefix is always what the organization, the see from the beginning, even in the previous video session, I told you in IPv4, we were always using what the organization is assigned with a block address. Similarly, only the nomenclature is different here. We are using the word global routing pre prefix, but that is actually for the organization block. So it is given here that particular value for the organization block and then the subnet ID is given, the second component, interface ID, uh, sorry, what is that? Yeah, interface ID is not given, but the physical address is given. So in the previous session, you have learned how, in the previous question, you have learned how can you convert a physical address to interface ID. So that one you carry out. So we'll start building the 128, the solution, fine. First, you write down the global routing prefix here, no need to do any change as it is because 20, 48 bits are given here. Okay, this thing, this 48 bits, so you can simply write down. So let me just, uh, because I have to show you the complete um, uh, 48, sorry, 128 bits, I'll start writing from here, the solution. So 2000 colon 1456 colon 2474, okay, this you can, now in which subnet they are uh, mentioned in the question, it is mentioned in the third subnet, since 16 bits are mentioned, 16 bits are used okay to represent a subnet id each number will carry what four bits so you can write down 003 which indicates third subnet then comes what the interface interface id is 64 but given is what the uh, physical address how many bits are uh, how many this one uh, bits uh, which type of uh, physical address is given here is it eui 64 or is it 48 bit mac address that you can easily find out here isn't it? See, this one is how much? 16. 16 plus 16, 32. 32 plus 16, 48. 48 MAC address, 48 Ethernet MAC, 48 bit Ethernet MAC address is given. So, you try to use the same procedure which I have showed you in the previous problem. The seventh bit you are going to okay convert from uh, 0 to 1, it becomes F7, and then you are going to write down what in colon hexadecimal, put colon here. And insert at this point what at uh, e e f f e e so f f you can write down like this twenty three f f colon f e fourteen colon seven four d two fine so this is your complete one twenty eight or I can just put a slash and write down the well no need to put brackets. So this is how you can come out with. So you can see here, this is what 48 bit global routing prefix, subnet 16 bits, interface ID 64 bit. Total it has come to how much? 128 bits. So these kind of numericals are quite simple. You can easily carry out and score marks. So hope the session is useful to you all. Thank you. Bye bye. Take care.